So yes, it's like I was saying, um, you, the, the shots are very consistent all the way through. You know, you, you're keeping the same sort of theme and story throughout the entire thing, where I, I think that even some like professional films, you can kind of be like, oh, I've kind of watched the whole film now. You know, I don't know what it is, but I've seen yours and I'm like, oh, I actually want to watch this now. Because, you know, I want to see what happens. Yeah. I think it sets up um, a kind of aesthetic, a kind yeah. of like a style, um, you know, that, that is, is really strong, really striking and really kind of engaging. Um, I think all the, 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 some of the shots that you started out as, as test shots and then you actually sort of used some of those shots uh, because I think you got, you got the look that you were talking about. So I think that was, that was a real, real achievement. And I think it's, it sets up, um, I mean, what, 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 what sort of atmosphere does it set up? I was going to say it sets up something, um, but I don't know what. So it keeps it tense for the whole, the whole sort of thing. It's, it, it keeps it like, it's really like mystery sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's very much that kind of mystery, uh, sort of, yeah, you're not, you're not sure what, what, what the story is, but the story is a kind of mystery story that, that something is going to be revealed. It, it's like, uh, yes, it's like the Matrix or it's like Squid Game or something. It's setting up, you know, you, you, you need to watch the program in order to find out what the mystery is. And it's, it's doing that really effectively. I've got like a, a jigsaw sort of vibe from it. Yeah. 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 Especially with like the mask with it. It's oh, kind yeah. of like yeah. 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 No, I just randomly, um, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was inspired by Barbie. <laughs> by Barbie? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, you did a cracking job of that, mate. Um, well, one of it was inspired by, I think it's, 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 it's going along with certain kind of conventions. So, you know, when we were, um, you know, going back to the team pilot project, and we looked at sort of narrative and genre conventions and things, you know, we make sense of what we see in relation to other films, and I think using, yeah, somebody in a mask, somebody kind of controlling things. How do we know that the person in the mask is the sort of the controller? The shots are sort of like, I mean, I think they're very good, just to, just to start with, I think those shots in the mask are amazing. Um, yeah, you only say that. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I think the way it's, um, it's like glimpses of the person, you know what I mean? There's a lot of Billy, and the way he's acting, um, and the camera angles sort of show that he's a bit spaced out and a bit like, where am I? Do you know what I mean? Yes. expression. But when it comes to the shots, especially when they're looking down, um, all of the shots are quite neat and like fixed onto the person. There's yeah. no like disorientation. So they're much, much closer shots. Yeah, and they're more yeah, like they're refined much as well. Shots, they're much more. And um, the guy in the mask, or the person in the mask, is um, in powerful stances. And yeah. it's the, the shots show that that's a powerful person. Yeah. They filmed it really good at that. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Like, you know, yeah. Props to them. Um, but I think that I think it's a really good use of kind of visual language, the language of sort of um, camera shots, because you've got the big wide angle shots, which you know kind of make the character look even more confused and lost and sort of like they don't know what's going on. The shots of the of Billy's character, and then the, the kind of controller is very much up close, um, completely different kind of movie, different kind of space. So you mm. feel that they are they are in control. I'm also really proud because I filmed most of it on my phone. Yeah. I didn't use a camera from like Billy shots and like hallways. I just yeah. used because my camera's got wide angle on well, it I anyway. Think the wide angle lenses um, yeah. on a lot of um, yeah, the newer phones are, are actually better. You know, they're yeah. certainly better than the lenses we've got in college. Um, you know, if you were able to have access to really expensive lenses, I can see that we don't have those lenses. No. Um, but I think being able to be inventive and use, use your camera. Yeah. Anything else that people liked? What about sound? What about sound design? I thought the music yeah. fit perfect. I? Yeah. I really thought it did. Um, especially with the, um, the way you timed the, the shots, like on the beats, like on, the, on the piano bits. Um, and just I think the, the bit that stood out the most was the very end of it. That last piano thing, that last ding, and it's got the, um, the, net, the, the, the first stage. That was just, yeah, yeah. It really, really nice. Yeah, yeah. Really I think the timing, uh, the sort of synchronization of the image with the sound, the feel of the sound, again, it's, it's adding to the mystery, the kind of suspense. You don't know quite what's happening, but you kind of know, you know the world that you're 
That's what my aim was to kind of like make it like so intense that it's like time's running out. Yeah. It's like how much more like you know type of thing. What do you guys like about the editing? I like those defects. Oh, they're so smooth. Yeah, yeah they're so smooth. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fire <laughs> No, it, yeah, it's like what I said. The effects. Um, oh, it's a good one. Yeah, really, really, yeah. really well done. Yeah, especially with the total the simulations as well. Like when you added the um, inverted effect, added all the lines, it sort of looked like a level. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Level, like a bit calibrated. Yeah, that's. I got. I did get a bit carried away at first with adding the effects. So it did kind of look a bit more game-like, and I was kind of drifting away from the idea. So I had obviously I like one point where <coughs> you had too many. Too effects, many. And you just, you just came back pulled it back to and try and. Yeah. Because it feels like we, we don't know the world that the character's being mm. drawn into. Yeah. Kind of I think it fit because it made, especially the fact that it was so empty as well, made yeah. it feel almost otherworldly. Yeah. Like it's it's that it's that sort of thing where it's public spaces that are empty always makes anyone feel like weird. Yeah. Like a, a hospital that's completely like, empty. You know, it's just the building, but mm. because it's supposed to have loads of people in and it doesn't, it makes it, it feel. Fun. It's, it's the effect of liminal space. That's also it's what I was aiming for. Yeah, I did research into it. It's liminal space. It's like the effect of going from one area to another and like the journey between that. Obviously, walking in an empty hallway mm. can make you feel really like sometimes scared almost because mm. it's so surreal. Yeah. And it's yeah, it's just it's just a weird effect. But and when yeah. you've got kind of corridors that all look very very similar, yeah, uh, which this college does have, and you can yeah. Um, but I thought, you know, what was really good, I don't know whether you kind of picked particular times or had somebody at the end of the corridor keeping people out, but actually what spoiled a lot of films um, that get filmed around the college is somebody who is like a student or a group of students so and suddenly appear at the end of the corridor. Because mm. you were in the shot, but you managed... I you timed it. I, I filmed it on... Yeah, Friday. Friday. Yeah. I filmed all of it on Friday with Billy's shots. Yeah. And... I picked that day because obviously barely anyone's in college on Friday and I just timed it so when I knew people weren't going to be around yeah. I just did it there and then got it out of the way yeah. and it just worked very well. Yeah. And I think some of the spaces like the auditorium and the gym and Yeah, the, but those... Different yeah. yeah, all the, all the um, hallway areas. <laughs> <laughs> any other good points? Don't. Really so any, I think overall it was very good. Yeah. The spelling was amazing. <laughs> Very inventive. Um, um, okay, so things that could be improved. Obviously, it's difficult to give. We saw a kind of glitchy version of it. Um, but yeah, um, taking that into consideration, anything Not really it's that me, so thanks for that. People, hmm? are you welcome? Could be. I think the only thing would be the whole way. Uh, yeah, they just checking the spelling. Check the spelling. Because other than that, it's all right. Really good. Yeah. And and obviously I think the um, the way that it was lagging was more of a reflection on the, the computer. Because yeah. if it wasn't lagging for you when you rendered it, no. then it, it looked fine when, yeah. when I was oh, yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, we'll, so we'll sort that out. There's no like technical issues. What about the colour grading? I was I thought the colour grading was great. I think it it really worked with the um, sort of effects that you're going for as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I was trying to achieve a backrooms look, but I didn't. Yeah. With yeah, how with out. with how I filmed it, yeah. it was too. There was too much lighting, and with how I wanted to color grade it, like obviously I'm not that much of a genius in color grading, um, but like I tried my best. But it just it made it look too orange or yellow, yeah. and it kind of has like a yellowy greeny look the backrooms. So yeah. I tried yeah. that, and, and I just didn't. Bit, um, 
dingy. Yeah, like, yeah. These spaces are probably a bit. Like, yeah. Bright, yeah. So it didn't really work, but I did kind of give a tint of yellow to try yeah. and get that idea that it's like around that as well. Yeah. 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 I mean, I think you possibly could have done maybe a little bit more sort of sound design. Mm. You had just some sounds of, I don't know, kind of like the controllers doing mm, something, yeah. operating something like the long machine. give it a bit more kind of depth yeah um, and suspense and maybe i mean to not have any voice at, at all i think um it, it kind of works but you could have maybe experimented not maybe having speech yeah uh, but you know you could have tried some sort of, of kind of calling out or like maybe the controller saying something in a very mm. measured sort of like announcement voice yeah i think it's very creepy in the in the with the, the announcements, yeah. mm. you know, and they're kind of like, oh, it's not a holiday camp or something, mm. it's someone who's not. Yeah. And you, you could have maybe done something um, more to understand. But that's, mm. you know, it's not, not that it's lacking, no, it's just not. something else to, to maybe think about. Mm, um, definitely. Having a big measure of sound as well. Yeah, definitely. Any other issues? Anything that people think? Um, I mean, I think in terms of, you know, producing like a sequence, um, obviously if you'd maybe, maybe planned things slightly differently and given yourself a little bit more time um, with the filming so that you could have maybe had it, it would have been nice to have just one, one sequence. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, you know, I don't think... The, the, the idea we managed to convey, mm. I think, is really strong when you've got the mood, the atmosphere, uh, and that kind of slightly futuristic sort of alternate reality world. Mm. Um, and you just... Yeah, that yeah. makes me a lot happy though you said that because that's really what I was trying to achieve with right. telling the story visually without any dialogue, and I feel like I've kind of captured that. Yeah, I mean, shots. I don't think it, it doesn't need dialogue. Yeah. You know, I think you've got the mood and the atmosphere. Yeah. Um, but you know, at the same token, sometimes it's quite good to just experiment. You know, mm, see, yeah. See, see how it works. And what I would say to everybody, do you get some, you know, obviously you've got, you're getting your feedback now and people are commenting and people are writing things down. Um, but, you know, do ask people sort of specific questions like, would you have preferred there to be some dialogue or mm. um, would the story have been clearer if I had somebody explaining something? Or I think the use of text was really good as well. Yeah. Um, you know, there was one spelling error, but one spelling error. <laughs> but it wasn't a spelling error, it was just one of those things when you're typing. Yeah. Probably just your fingers, you know, just like did it. Mm. Um, but I think, you know, the information um, that, that, that you provided just gave it that kind of context. The only thing I have a problem with is inspired by something. Yeah. That's, I think I said that before. Uh, maybe think about something else. Um, yeah. I try coming up with a different alternate, yeah. alternate text and I just, I can't really think of one, like... Yeah. <clears throat> Mm. Yeah, I think it's just on a trailer having, you know, like if, if, if something is, 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 is directed or produced by the same people, they often say, from the maker of the Terminator. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, but you don't normally have, you know, in a, in a you know, Martin Scorsese film, you're not going to say inspired by, you know, Michael Press, um, uh, Michael Powers, he, he was inspired by, you know, he, he won't put that in the film. Mm. Um, and I think it just, it, it doesn't quite feel right. Um, you could have something like um, Beyond, Beyond Squid Game, or something that is kind of relating it to Squid Game, but but kind of it's more extreme. Than that. It could be more extreme. Yeah, yeah, something like that. In the same universe as Squid Game. Or... Yeah, something. Yeah. Mm, that's good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> In the same multiverse as Squid Game. Spider-Man or a different, a different, a different well, multiverse. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, it is lunchtime. Okay. Thanks, so. guys. <coughs>